Oh. What stinky feet! What could I possibly do with feet so stinky? The Bible says, beautiful are the feet of messengers who bring good news. So these smelly feet can be used for something. They can be used to tell others about Jesus. In Mark 16 verse 15, Jesus tells us to go into the world and proclaim the gospel to the nations. And to go anywhere, we're going to have to use our feet, even if they're smelly and stinky. I have an idea. Let's go for a walk. We might not be able to go very far, but we can go for walks in the morning. So when you go for a walk, find a house nearby and think of things that you can pray for. You could pray for protection. You could pray that if they don't know Jesus, they get to know Jesus. You could pray that if they need food and other things, that they'll get it. And you could also pray that they're not scared. So take some time and just think of things that you can pray for them. When you get home, try and remember what the house looked like and then draw a picture of it. And then on that picture, you can write down some of the things you thought to pray for like praying that they have enough food, or praying that they won't be scared, or praying that they'll get to know God's love. And then what you can do is you can take your picture and you can stick it on your wall. And that way every day when you see your picture, you'll remember to pray for those things. If you think of something encouraging, like a verse or something else that you'd like to share with them, you can just write a letter. And the next time you go for a walk, you can just go and put it in their mailbox. I want to tell you a story about Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas were two men who walked around telling people about Jesus. <laughs> this is a prison much like Paul and Silas were in after they were trying to tell some people about Jesus. Now, they were in jail and they could have very easily felt sorry for themselves. But what do you think they did? I think I hear it. Sing! singing. They sang. They sang songs and they prayed while they were in jail. And while they were singing and praying, suddenly there was a... Whoa. While they were singing, there was an earthquake and the prison door was flung open. The prison guard got such a fright. He was so scared when he saw the prison doors open because he thought everyone would escape. But Paul told him not to worry and that they were still all there. And they told the prison guard about Jesus and prayed for him. It might feel like we're trapped because we can't go very far. But that doesn't mean that we can't pray for others. We can pray for our neighbors and those around us. If you remember in the beginning of the year, Uncle Greg told us how important it is that we pray for the community and our neighbors. And this is the perfect time to do that. So let's go for a walk. Let's find someone to pray for. Let's pray for them.